Pogotcha is a Georgian war veteran in eastern Ukraine. The conflict here is something he recognizes because Russia has also supported separatists in two breakaway regions of Georgia. In 2008, the Russian army invaded to support their independence bid. The sound of shells exploding reverberates across the fields. Gotcha says Russian-backed separatists fire at Ukrainian army positions near here almost every day. Did you hear that, he says. They're firing 120 millimeter caliber weapons. He takes us to the frontline village of Shurokina. Every building was either damaged or completely destroyed during fighting in 2015. Russia did many bad things to us in Georgia. They occupied our territory as they have done here in Ukraine. I'm not against the Russian nation or people, but their politics is a very dirty game. Georgian volunteers like Gotcha started coming to Ukraine to fight Russian-backed separatists at the start of the conflict in 2014. Two years later, the self-styled Georgian National Legion was incorporated into the Ukrainian army. Analysts say Russia has encouraged and supported territorial disputes in Ukraine, as it did in Georgia, to hinder the two countries from joining NATO. We Georgians know what it means when your dignity and liberty is taken. The Ukrainians helped us and now it's our turn to help them. They told us during our war that if we didn't stop Russia in Georgia, then we would eventually have to stop them in Ukraine. They predicted this would happen and they were right. The sound of gunshots can be heard every few minutes. The morning started with shelling and now snipers. They are trying to provoke us to shoot back and find out our positions, this Ukrainian soldier tells us. There are around 50 Georgians that are working with the Ukrainian army right the way along the front line. The army here this morning, very nervous. They won't allow us to progress any further up this road because in the last half an hour or so, we've heard what they describe as sniper fire targeting a position very close to here. Both sides accuse each other of violating a 2015 ceasefire agreement almost every day. Gotcha cleans his weapon before going back to his checkpoint. He says defending Ukraine is his duty and he won't be returning to Georgia any time soon. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Shirokina, Eastern Ukraine.